No, there's other there's other writers who want to speak with you, Joe. So I just want to wrap it up with the other two fights in the division. Um, Tank and Romero. Uh, what chances do you give Romero pulling off that upset? I give every fighter a chance against other fighters. Uh, you know, I've said it before. Sometimes the fight you think may be your easiest fight turns into your toughest, and vice versa. And that's true. That happens. Most fighters will tell you somewhere along their career, whether it be amateur or pro, they go, oh, this will be an easy fight. Turns into a dog fight. Look at Isaac Cruz, the fight that turned into. Okay? Look we all fight. thought he would knock him Look out in the six. fight with Barrios. Yeah. Okay? Uh, so, you know, the... I mean, do you see a method to the madness with Romero? It, it, it's not... You, with the way, you mean, with the way uh, Roley fights? Mm-hmm. Well, Roley's a he's he's a dynamic fighter. I mean, he's he's explosive. He's hard hitting. Um, he's daring. He takes chances. Um, believes in himself. Look, I mean, he's a threat. And if he wasn't, um, they wouldn't have you know made this competitive fight. This is a competitive fight. You know, and I'm sure uh, Roley's looked at Tank's other fights and said, you know what, I, I see flaws here, and I'm going to capitalize on them. We're going to go to work. He's probably strategizing. And conversely, I'm sure Tank's doing the same thing. They've all got good people behind them. You know, they've got smart uh, people that are working on strategies, uh, conditioning, um, sparring, game plans. You know, at, at, again, at this level, there's very competent people behind the scenes. Everyone's here for a reason. That's and right. It, That's right. So right. I'm actually looking more forward to this Tank Davis fight because it's Roley than maybe all the other ones that he's had with Isaac Cruz, with Barrios, and with Santa, or Santa Maria. You and, know? And, uh, uh, I think this one may be the most intriguing of, of them all. I'm with you, Joe. I, I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah. lastly, um, same here. Haney and Cambosis. Uh, this, who do you who do you see having the edge in that matchup? Which one? Haney and Cambosis. That's a tough question. Um, you know, Devin is such a smart fighter, um, and so is Cambosis. He proved that in that last fight. That I think if if this that fight on the board I don't think anybody's a runaway favorite in that fight I don't know what the numbers are but I would imagine up on the board in Vegas that's gonna probably be um, I think the numbers will probably favor it going some distance of course yeah okay yeah it'll probably be over ten and a half something like that and then in terms of uh, who's the favorite that's a tough one too. That could easily be, you know, close to a pick 'em fight. Even if you know money comes in on one guy or the other, and those things you know move around a little bit, I, I just think that's a that's a pick 'em fight, you know, for me. You know, they're both very competent, capable boxers. They're smart, crafty guys. You know, and uh, Cambosis is riding high right now. So, you know, he's, he's probably feeling pretty good about himself. And so is Devin. I mean, he should be. Devin's a very crafty guy. I've seen him in my gym. He's smart. He's, he's a handful, man. He, he, he does it all. You talk about a hard worker. He's a beautiful fighter. I, look, like I said. You I, might have to go in the corner against him. <laughs> well, one day, one day, maybe, yeah, sure. But Ryan, but, yeah. you know. If it isn't Devin, it'll be someone else just as competent, just as capable. They're all tough at the top. You know, they all bring their own magic that they possess, you know. Some guys have different abilities than others, but at the top of the game, they're all tough outs. Joey, great trainer, good Irishman. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.